Wherever you are this morning, hearing the sound of my voice, may I ask you to raise one hand towards heaven as a point of contact with the Holy Spirit. Omnipotent power, mercy and grace, Spirit of the living God, bless us in this service, speak to our lives, move us forward, break us out of limitation. Bring us into the fullness of what you have for us. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be magnified. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be magnified. In Jesus name. Say amen with fire in it. Come on. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Such a great joy and privilege to be here again this morning. Trusting the Lord to be a blessing to you wherever you are and you are hearing my voice. May the hand of the Lord touch you. May the power of God minister to you. And may God lift you beyond measure in the name of Jesus. If you are outside wherever you are, I believe the word of the Lord is in this place. I think you should give priority to the word you came all the way to this camp to receive from the Lord and therefore you should open your spirit and one more time celebrate our father and our mother and ministry we want to bless the Lord for Baba Adeboye and Mama Folu Adeboye we bless the Lord for them we stand on their shoulder to minister to the whole world they are a great testimony they are more than legends God raised them you don't have that kind of people all the time they come in more than once in more than two centuries or three centuries we have to celebrate the fact that God has raised them to be a blessing to the whole world and you are here because somebody paid a price somebody sacrificed somebody went all the way to make something happen so put your hands together and really appreciate and thank God for that come on bless the Lord for them give God the glory And now to the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I like my life now. I like what I tell you. I like what I tell you. I like what I The A for Alpha, the B for the bread of life. The C for Christ, the D deliverer. The E, the El Shaddai, the F, the Father. The G, our God, the H, the high and lifted one. The I, I am that I am, J for Jesus. K for the King of Kings, L for the Lord of Lords. M for our maker, N for the new and living way. The O for Omega, come and put your hands together and bless the Lord. Give him glory this morning. Give him praise. Ale kabroso tayedaba. I trust the Lord that in this meeting this morning you will be blessed of the Lord your life will never be the same I said your life will never be the same if you believe it say better amen you may be seated in the presence of the Lord that has been my privilege to write about 110 books 110 And to produce the first prayer Bible in the world, the Power of Positive Prayer Bible, which has 15,000 prayer points. So when you have this Bible, you have 15,000 prayer, 15, prayer points, 26 lessons on prayer. There's a book out there for anyone who wants to be the next Elon Musk, the next Bill Gates. The book is called The Creative Edge. The biggest 10 companies in the world today is not because they produce cars 
or anything heavy but because they are using creativity to change our world facebook is not a book is not a face it is just an idea and you may be the one who will birth the next idea if you are the one shout a better amen the bible says in the book of exodus 35 he said i have lifted bezalel the son of uri exodus 35 from 30 to 35 he said i will teach him in the night season i will show him things to do bezalel the son of uri actually means the son of lights uri urion urio which means lights the lord is my light and my salvation the greatest thing that can happen to you is for light to shine in your way it is not university education but the creative light that brightens in your spirit somebody is about to enter a new level if you believe say better amen there's a lot of confusion out there created by many people on the subject of the tithe don't let anyone deceive you don't let anyone mislead you tithing is biblical tithing is fundamental did you hear what i said some things are biblical but not fundamental there are thieves in the bible but stealing is not a fundamental teaching of the bible there are polygamists in the bible but it's not a fundamental teaching of the bible tithing is biblical and fundamental in this book i wrote 14 reasons why you should tithe and 29 blessings of the tithe there are people who are here tonight or this morning who are going to lead nigeria into greatness if you are the one shout amen the problem of africa is that the people who have seized the position of leadership they call themselves national leaders but they are local champions how do you know a local champion he surrounds himself with the people from his own tribe then he's a village leader he's not a national leader I've written a book called the 35 marks of irrepressible leadership it is the kind of leadership you cannot press you cannot hold you cannot limit the books will bless you are you ready for this morning's teaching if you are ready say i'm ready say like you mean it i'm ready if you have your bibles this morning i'd like you to turn to the book of luke the book of luke chapter luke chapter 10. i'm going to be reading from verse 30 a very very popular story luke chapter 10 from verse 30 a very very popular story and Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and, de and, de and, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side and likewise a levite when he was at the place came and looked at him and passed by on the other side but a certain samaritan as he journeyed came where he was when he saw him he was moved with compassion and went to him and bound up his wound pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and on the morrow or the next day when he was departed he took two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him take care of him whatsoever thou spendest more when i come again i will repay thee This morning I came to announce, maybe to, not to everybody, but if you are a Nigerian youth and you are just tired of being tired, you are tired of all that 
you see around you. They said, go to school, you went to school. They said, do this, you did it. And still you can't seem to see a way out. It is you I came for. I came to announce to you to hold on because help is on the way. Tell your neighbor, hold on. Help is on the way. Say it like you mean it. Hold on. Help is on the way. I didn't come for everybody. I came for somebody who needs help. If you need help, roar like a, a lion for God. Come on. When Jesus showed up, it was at a time when everything he taught contradicted their interpretation of the law of Moses. They resented Jesus because he associated with people, particularly people who were in need. He reached out to people. He taught their life. Many times they sent experts to test him, to get him tied to a corner. They asked him difficult questions. This lawyer was sent to trap Jesus. Who is my neighbor? The man asked. And Jesus said, anyone you have power to help? And then Jesus tells the story. Before I preach to you this morning, I'd like you to know why Jesus used the Samaritan as an example of showing mercy and compassion. Under one king, I think it was Jeroboam, Israel broke into two. Two tribes stayed in the south. Or rather, ten tribes stayed in the south. Two tribes stayed in the north. In the days of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat was actually king over only two tribes out of twelve. Ten tribes were in the south. Two tribes were in the north. When they came from Babylon to carry them as slaves, they carried the ten tribes. They missed out the two tribes at the top. Those two tribes went and married the Gentiles. And because they were no longer pure Jews, and they have married the Gentiles, they were now known as Samaritans. So the Jews always avoided them like, we are not as pure as we are. We are the real sons of the soil. So a Jewish man will go any length to avoid a Samaritan because they are not like them. And in the attempt of this man to bypass the Samaritan, and he's traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. He took a longer way. He took a longer journey to try to avoid the Samaritans. Somebody's trying to avoid you because they think you are not their class. Somebody's trying to avoid you because they think you are not their culture. Somebody's trying to avoid you because they think you are not their level. They don't know that weeping may be for the night. Joy is coming in the morning. Somebody does not know you here today, but God will announce you. I said, God will announce you. I speak into somebody's life today that God will announce you. This man avoided the Samaritans, took a longer journey, and ended being attacked by thieves i'm going to look at this message today number one by talking about the miserable man the miserable man he needed neighbors when life had turned difficult when thieves had wounded him he needed neighbors when things have become miserable for him he needed neighbors when life had thrown challenges at him he needed neighbors when everything he knew to do had been gone and he had no way out he needed neighbors when his body was sick he needed neighbors when he felt humiliated he needed neighbors when that when he felt lonely he needed neighbors when he experienced grief animosity hatred rejection he needed somebody to pick him up you know people will bypass you many times when they don't see what you can offer them they don't know that inside you there is destiny there is purpose there is a calling and i pray for somebody in this service today 
those who have looked down at you it won't be long they will look up to you I said they will look up to you you are just one name in the crowd today but the day is going to come God will announce you I said God will announce you if you believe it shout yes this miserable man was lost in his sin this miserable man was lost in his pain this miserable man was in a challenging situation economically his world was not good enough sometimes money can mess you up particularly when you don't have enough of it in spite of all this this man needed a neighbor nobody responded to him in our world today people are looking if i have this man if i have this woman what will come back to me they don't know that sometimes the bible says to cast your bread upon the waters and it will come back to you after many days somebody think if they don't help you you will remain down but god will send help to you i'm announcing to someone who came to this conference desperate for help help would rise for you 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 if you believe it say i receive it everybody who is in this conference or you are connected by internet and you just feel miserable about life some dreams of your life have not come to pass some things you desire to do have not become reality i join my faith with yours today and i declare god will make a way out i say again god will make a way out i say one more time god will make a way out whether you're young or old god will make a way out the second group we see in this story are the terrible thieves a miserable man the terrible thieves the bible says they were aggressive and violent they are like the devil who comes to kill to steal and to destroy they are like the devil who comes to seek and to devour first peter chapter 5 verse 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom to devour restless young man restless young woman i want you to know this even if you felt like the miserable man and things have not worked for you never walk away from jesus never change your faith never denounce your belief in christ because things are tough today listen because the most important thing that can ever happen in your life is the salvation of your soul that is why you need to understand even if you lose everything don't lose christ a yoruba song say be ni mi gogo shegbe ti gogo ero mi pin sibe oloro ni mo je tori mo ni christi ati orun even if i lose everything and i seem to have no hope if i have christ i have everything live stand don't live on this earth without christ very important very major in recent times in the past two three years we see some people young men and women who say they are born again and someone have used social media to persuade them to say i don't even go to church anymore i don't believe in church i don't believe in this ah those who say those things who get you to the place where you denounce christ they are being used of the enemy they are part of the terrible thieves i pray for you today you will not miss your faith you will remain in the lord shout amen with power but where i'm going this morning these terrible thieves the bible says they stripped him of everything when i think of these terrible thieves i think of living in africa 
I think of living under an economy in a nation that has abundance and yet the young people have not enough to eat. I think of a nation where there is abundance and yet the young people can't seem to see a way out. I think of a nation where there is abundance and the roads are not good enough. The system is not good enough. People lose their pride, their self-respect, their decency, their morality because somebody some of the terrible thieves have stolen all that belong to us but i stand on this altar today and i declare that everyone who has stolen our common wealth the holy ghost will chase them god will fight them god will fight them i said god will fight them every terrible thief that have stolen our property we set God after them their family will not rest they will not rest until we have our properties back until we have our blessing back if you agree with me shout a big amen the man was in a helpless situation he needed someone to step in he could not help himself he was almost dying no time for me to explain to you the road he went to take i drove past it i've been to israel seven times i drove past it it's a craggy rock it's not a place to follow cars cannot even follow there even today it's a mountainous way just because he wanted to avoid people now he gets himself in trouble the attack and they took everything i said to you today every terrible thief that is stealing what belongs to you we come against them by the power of god we take back your property we take back your joy we take back your favor we take back your testimony we take back your glory in the name of jesus somebody scream help it's on the way look at your neighbor tell them help is on the way look at someone and tell them it won't be long it won't be long it won't be long it won't be long help will rise for you and it won't be long i said help will rise for you and it won't be long i declare again help will rise for you and it won't be long God will send you help if you believe it say I receive it terrible thieves terrible thieves that claim that a snake have eaten 36 million terrible thieves that cannot account as an accountant cannot account for 109 billion the accountant of the nation cannot account for 109 billion terrible thieves Sahara reporters carried it yesterday that an ex-inspector general was removing from the salary of recruits and removed 35 billion to go and buy shares for his family terrible thieves we send the holy ghost after them fire upon them fire upon them fire upon them fire upon them university shut down for seven months Terrible thieves. The roads are not more terrible. Terrible thieves. Our airport leaks when you arrive at Mutala Airport. Terrible thieves. In the words of Michael Jackson, they don't even care about us. 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 The 
the God of the young man and young woman of Nigeria will arise and fight for you. He will arise and fight for you. He will arise and fight for you. He will arise and send you help. Somebody scream, hold on. Help is coming. Say, hold on. Help is coming. They don't even care about us. 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 Terrible thieves! They go and buy passports of other nations so that when they cause trouble, they can run away. Terrible thieves! Their children have never been to our schools. Terrible thieves! They don't even fly local airlines anymore. When they are going from Lagos to Abuja, they have to go by private jets. They go to the executive and hire. Not that it is wrong to have a jet, but we are saying, once in a while, enter local passengers, see how it be. Terrible thieves! When the system does not work, there's a problem somewhere. February's crude oil for the whole of Nigeria disappeared. The whole of the crude oil for February disappeared. Oh, you did not hear the news? The whole of the crude oil of February disappeared. Terrible thieves! It takes one month to load a super tanker with crude oil. When it was standing on our waters for one month, how come nobody saw it when they were stealing the crude oil? Terrible thieves! But I came tonight to talk to some young man or woman here who has been beaten down like the man by the roadside. I came to announce to you, hold on. Help will rise for you. Help will rise for you. Favor is coming to your house. Glory is coming to your house. Testimony is coming to your house. Blessing is coming to your house. Shout amen with power. A miserable man, terrible thieves, and then passing priests. Passing priests. The church saw him and passed by. It is not my problem. Passing priests from, Jeru from Jericho to Jerusalem. 12,000 priests travel every day. Not just these two, three mentioned here. 12,000 every day walk from Jericho to Jerusalem. It is no more than 20, 15 kilometers. And they bypass this man. 12,000 people. Nobody stopped. The time has come. There's somebody here today. God will give you a heart of compassion. God will use you to reach your world. You will bless your generation. You will bring healing and hope. You will bring deliverance to people. You will bring favor to people. In the name of Jesus. You will be a blessing. You will be a blessing. How many of you, if God prospers you, you will touch your generation? Let me see you. Open your hand like this. From today, uncommon prosperity will come into your hand. 
uncommon favor will come into your hand uncommon breakthrough will come into your hand uncommon glory will come into your life your hands will heal the sick your hand will bless your generation your hand will touch your world shout amen three times give God a praise give him the praise look at your neighbor tell them hold on help is coming look at someone else tell them hold on help is coming announce to them it won't be long 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 help is coming and it won't be long that lady who borrowed money to take transport to come to this conference God will spin your life around man that woman who have had to make all they can do who have had to work so hard to even feed your own parents God will surprise you hold on help is coming hold on help is coming put your hands together give God a bigger praise come on A miserable man terrible thieves passing priests and Levites but then we come to the man they were trying to avoid the person they said is not good enough whom they were avoiding the Samaritan and I'm going to share with you seven things from the Samaritan that God wants to use to spin your life around. How many are, are ready for their life to go from glory to glory? From favor to favor. From testimony to testimony. From power to power. From glory to glory. From power to power. Everyone who have rejected you, they are coming to the brightness of your shining. Like the Samaritan, everyone who have looked down at you they are coming to celebrate you there are some of you who are here today some of you will open banks some of you will start universities some of you will start major conglomerations some of you will launch major businesses some of you will launch major ministries some of you will step into global expressions africa will hear from you europe will hear from you asia will hear from you america will hear from you shout amen three times the samaritan was traveling by when suddenly he saw a Jewish man seven things number one he saw him someone said vision say it louder vision can I hear your voice vision but a certain Samaritan as he journeyed came where he was and when he saw him and when he saw him and when he saw him vision 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 from today I anoint your eyes I anoint your eyes every treasure that I've been hidden from you your eyes will begin to see it 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 shout amen with power treasure 
windows of darkness will open up to you hidden riches will open up to you treasures of the sea will open up to you treasures of the sand will open up to you the blessings in Africa will open up to you the treasure of Nigeria will open up to you vision make it the man vision changes a man's story vision is your signature vision is your fingerprint vision is what makes you unique vision is what defines your life when you follow other people's vision you miss your own today i pray for you wherever you are you are hearing me the vision that will take you from glory to glory god will put it in your heart god will put it in your heart you will see a new vision you will see a new dream shout amen with power the passing priests the passing priests looked they saw a dead man the samaritan looked he saw the future how many of you have a future here the passing priest looked he saw a man who is about to die the samaritan looked he saw a man who is about to take territories i came all the way from london to prophesy to some people here the vision that will take you from the back and put you in front god will place in your spirit god will place in your spirit the vision that will dig you out of the limitation of your daddy's house out of the curses of your mama's house god will put the vision in your heart you are coming out of trouble you are coming out of the mess the challenges of your father's house will not be able to stop you the battles of your mother's house will not be able to stop you some people have looked at you they think you are finished they think you are dead but jesus said mark john 11 25 i am the resurrection and life whosoever believes in me though he were dead he will live again i declare to your life today your vision will come alive 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 shout amen three times vision the man saw him then the bible says and when he saw him he had compassion somebody say compassion say it again compassion oh come and speak like you mean compassion i stand on this altar today i declare to some people's life and if you can say amen you'll be the evidence somebody will rise and show you compassion people will rise and show you compassion they will open doors for you they will take you places they will remove shame from your life they will remove embarrassment from your life they will bless you beyond your age they will bless you beyond your education they will bless you beyond your ability shout amen vision compassion the man looked he had compassion i came all the way to let somebody know ah the people you didn't know were in the plan of god you didn't know at all you have never met them they'll be looking for you 
they will bless your life they've been looking for you matter of fact i just saw a revelation of somebody in that area it was as if you were wearing rags and somebody came and removed all the rags and began to beautify your life 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 somebody say compassion say it again compassion men who don't know you will rise to bless you someone you've never met will underwrite your life a young man used to listen to me on uh, plateau television PR TV he was struggling in the University of Joss could hardly feed while he was studying geology he said my message kept him going kept him going kept him going he finally graduated somehow God connected him into oil and gas today ladies and gentlemen is a 5% owner of one of the major oil lifting companies from America in Nigeria this young man now lives in Dubai has his own private jets has houses in Dubai he now came to Nigeria and as he was driving by he saw mama where they sell corn by the roadside and you know no matter how high you become as a Nigerian you go still one stop by the roadside buy corn so he told his driver to stop 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 I want to chop this corn I know they get them for Dubai and as they are supplying him the corn he looks at the woman he saw that her daughter is not in school Mama, why is your daughter not in school? Ah, my son, I saw then they ask, oh, this is our home business. You know, in rich, oh, a school fee, then send her home, say, may go look for school fee. I don't even know where I could get her. So, Mama, how much is this school fee? Ah, my son, about 50,000 naira. Hey, young girl, which class are you? I am in secondary class two. What do they call it now? Is it JSS? JSS two. He said, driver collect their detail I'll pay her school up to master's level somebody is here today that level of help will rise for you it 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 will rise for you tell your neighbor hold on help is coming hold on help is coming it won't be long Just together, give God a bigger springs. He saw him. Number one, vision. He was moved. Number two, compassion. Number three, the Bible says he came near and carried him, and he went to him. Luke 10 34 and he went to him pastors they pass oh bishops they pass oh archbishops they pass oh all the title men they pass oh but he saw him he went to him somebody say association say it again association vision Compassion, association. Somebody will carry you on their shoulder. They would rise and bless your family. 
they will charge your life association somebody will come there and heal your wound they will heal your pain God will send you help God will send you help some people become big you can't talk to them anymore you can't they can't come near but thank God for Jesus that's not a friend like the lowly Jesus no not one no not one <laughs> no not one no not one Jesus knows all about our struggles he will guide till the day is done that's not a friend I know you Jesus no not one no not one someone say association say it again association I came to let somebody know God said I will never leave you I will not forsake you Hebrews 13 verse 5 I will never leave you I will never forsake you from today may the association the presence of the Lord never leave your life May it always be in your life. May it always be in your walk. Shout amen with power. He saw him. Vision. He felt his pain. Compassion. He drew near. Association. But then he did another thing. He carried a bottle of oil and wine and poured it in his wounds. Unction. Anointing. Unction. Anointing. I stand on this altar today and I declare to your life fresh oil is coming on your life. Fresh oil is coming on your life. Fresh oil is coming on your life. It will heal your life. It will set you free. Oil for power will come on your life. Oil of deliverance will come upon your life. Oil of movement will come upon your life. I declare today, some of you young men and women who are here today, as you leave this place, a new anointing will come on your life. I anoint your hands to heal the sick. You will be a carrier of the anointing. You'll be a carrier of the anointing. You'll be a carrier of power. A carrier of grace. A carrier of the oil. Shout yes! James chapter 5 verse 14. Is anyone sick among you? Then he must call to the elders of the church. And they will pray over him. And the anointing with oil in the name of the Lord. I lay hand on somebody here today. Every health issue, every challenge that came to this meeting with you, the power of God will destroy it. Fresh oil will rest on your life. You'll be a carrier of unction. A carrier of power. A carrier of unction. A carrier power in the name of Jesus shout yes from today Matthew chapter 6 verse 17 but you when you fast anoint your head and wash your face from today may the oil of God rest on your life may the oil of God rest on your life May the oil of God rest on your life. Mark chapter 6 verse 13. And they were casting out many demons. And were anointing with oil. Many sick people. And healing them. As you leave this conference this year. You will not go back and remain the same. You will be a carrier of the oil. You will carry the anointing. 
thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life today I declare to your life as the oil touches you a new season begins from today new levels begin from today new glory begins from today new power begins from today new anointing begins from today you will walk in power you will walk with anointing shout yes Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me for he has anointed me to and he has sent me to preach gospel to the poor he sent me to proclaim and release the captives and recovery of sight to those who are blind to set free those who are oppressed every young man young woman who's here get ready you will carry anointing you will carry grace you will walk in power in the name of Jesus shout amen three times put your hands together give God a praise give him the praise give him the praise you need the oil you need the oil to be able to smash the work of the enemy you need the oil to be able to overpower the works of the enemy you need the oil to be able to annihilate the works of the devil you need the oil to be able to trash and vanquish every lie of satan and i declare to your life today as a young man a young woman who took these days to be on these premises you will not go empty-handed by the unction of god david humiliated goliath every goliath in your life shall be humiliated by the unction of god saul an ordinary man became associated with prophets so that they were saying ah is saul also among the prophets i anoint your eyes you will see like a prophet i anoint your ears you will hear like a prophet i anoint your hands you will hear like an evangelist i anoint your eyes you will see like a prophet i anoint your ears you will hear like a prophet shout yes by the oil of god elijah spoke to flour and bread multiplied to feed the family because of the unction of god on your life today oh i need to hear you say amen to this today is the poorest you will ever be today is the poorest you will ever be today is the poorest you will ever be he saw him vision he felt for him compassion he poured oil into his pain unction he came close association then he took the wine and poured it into his life wine was for purification somebody say purification let me to tell three people live pure live pure live pure live pure live pure live pure keep yourself as a young man keep yourself as a young woman live pure as i bring this message to a close i declare wine is a symbol of joy joy will not lack in your house wine is a symbol of abundance abundance will be in your house wine is a symbol of tremendous love love will be in your life 
wine is a symbol of rejoicing bubbling from today there will be rejoicing in your house wine is a symbol of the blood of Jesus I draw the bloodline around your life I draw the bloodline around your life no weapon formed against you will prosper every mouth that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned shout amen he saw him vision he felt for him compassion he came close association he took oil and poured in his wound unction he now took wine and poured in his life purification then he carried the man he carried the man he carried the man to the end continuation he didn't stop there he continued he carried the man i came upon this altar today the kind of helpers that will rise for you they'll continue to help you i continue to help you i continue to help you i continue to bless you i continue to lift you i continue to help you i continue to bless you shout amen three times your neighbor tell them hold on help is coming hold on help is coming may you be under continuous favor may you be under continuous blessing may you be under continuous glory may you be continue under continuous unction may the blessing of your house never cease shout amen again Number seven, he brought out money and paid. Say, I pay for now, and I also pay for later. And if it is not enough, I'm coming back to supply even more. Upon this altar, I stand today and I declare, Makari no the good Samaritan himself the greatest good samaritan who knows you who knows your pain who sees you who sees how you feel he will make provision in your life he'll 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 make provision in your life you make provision in your life your head will not lack oil your hands will not lack blessing wherever you are and you are hearing me i'm prophesying provision into your life right now receive open heavens receive progress receive new things receive victory receive grace receive fresh ideas receive plenty receive good things receive anointing receive breakthrough receive enlargement receive abundance receive success receive expansion receive abundance receive favor receive achievements receive glory receive endorsement receive peace receive joy receive increase receive advancement receive help 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 in jesus name put your hands together give god the biggest praise give him glory give him praise bless his name when i was coming this afternoon 
the Lord laid on my heart. I started beginning to teach some incredible 10 ways to do this. This said, Go and tell them help is on the way. So put one hand on your, on your neighbor's shoulder and tell them, hold on. Help is on the way. Say it again to them, hold on. Help is on the way. Hold on. Help is on the way. Now put your hands together and bless the Lord. I'm the only one who needs help how many people need help here so you have to answer me help is coming it won't be long 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 help is coming Two hundred and twenty million Nigerians cannot be under arrest in the hand of terrible thieves. Help is coming. It won't be long. Help is coming. It won't be long. Help is coming. It won't be long. Help is coming. Help is coming. It won't be long.
open your mouth and begin to ask for help from the Lord. Begin to ask for help from the Lord. The very present help in the time of need. Help is coming. Help is coming. Miraculous help. Supernatural help. Unuse your help. It is coming. It won't be long. It won't be long. Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. Rikaya ya ya rabo sate.